Folks, we are looking at some new tractor stuff right here. All right, we have some boxes. I haven't even opened these ones yet. I opened that over there. I haven't opened these four though. Now, we showed you the easy wheel, all right? So, back up a, a hair. Thanks for being here, by the way. But we showed you the easy wheel, all right? This was a, a guy who actually made motorcycle, Indian motorcycle accessories for a long time, then got a tractor. He got the, caught the tractor bug got himself a John Deere 1025R, and like a lot of you guys do that are way more creative than I am, he came out with a product to help make it easier to turn the top link on his three-point hitch. Okay, that's called the Easy Wheel. We've shown you that product as well. He said, I wanna send you some products. I said, I, you know, send them to me. I don't know if I like them or not. I have no idea. Let's check them out. Let's see what they're all about. He's already sold some of these, he's told me. So it means other folks are liking them too, but I got a feeling some of you might like these, some of you might not. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go through it. And there's a couple other things too, all right? Let's save all these goodies. There's a lot of stuff in here to go through. Let's go through the easier stuff to digest, all right? So I had a gentleman who makes cup holders, all right? These bolt on to different points on your tractor. Farmsipsupreme.com. How about that? Look at that. So this... You know those, uh, those holes on your loader brackets a lot of you guys have? You can just bolt that right on there, have some storage, all right? Put your pop cans in there, your, your cold beverages, maybe your hot beverages too. This is just one style. Got another one over here as well. This one looks a little bit more deluxe, has some more stuff going on. Oh, oh, lots of stuff. Okay, so we have multiple things going on here, all right? Oh, this one has some hardware with it too. I wonder if that other one had hardware. I don't see the, any other hardware in here. Anyway, we have this hardware here. What do we got going on here? Let's see what's, oh, that's not anything. That's something different. Here's a little piece of paper. Hey, look at that, Farm Sip Supreme. There we go, folks. You get a little sticker. Huh? Fox. Little fox, little creature. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the other one. All right, the other version. Now we've got um, some other brackets going on here. So this looks like it's going to hold something in here. Okay. Maybe, I don't know what this does. Let's, let's pull up their website and check it out. I do know, I believe this is for a cell phone holder. Watch. I'm mimicking driving in a bumpy field. Is that enough mimicking? I cracked the, wind, the, 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 the screen. I didn't, it was already cracked. It's just a screen protector. But let's see here. Let's go to farmsipsupreme.com. Okay, so we're back. Okay, we looked at their website. There's actually a lot of different things that you can do. And so this is just one mounting bracket, so you can kind of just take a look, a look at the pictures on their website. Um, so this mounting bracket is like a 90 degree angle version, all right? So you have holes that are down here. Again, it comes with the hardware. So you can mount this in a couple different ways, right? You can mount it like, you can mount it like this, for example. You can mount it like, like that, for example. Depends if you have a cab or an open station, what machine you have. Just find some way to, to bolt it on and secure it, but take a look at the brackets. This is another accessory that, uh, you see those two holes that are right down here? Okay, you got two holes in here. How do we have that situated? Basically, basically like that. Just a little extra storage stuff that's on your tractor. You know, I would say it may be nice if at some point he come out with a little deeper pocket. Just take those little lips maybe all the way up here, you know? Take, take those edges all the way up. Even has a little cushion here though to, to, to soften it. Sort of like kind of rattling and banging against the uh, the back of the plastic there too. But it looks like it's maybe all 3D printed. I don't know. But there's, you know, little tool holder type things. You can put a screwdriver or whatever down in there. Yeah, looks like maybe slots just for pens or more additional storage in here. Got weep holes slash mounting holes in the bottom of the cup. So if you're in an open station, you don't have to worry about stuff pulling up in there. Again, the other variation here. I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. He's actually put a lot, a lot of thought into this design work, making it all work together. So anyway, check it out. There's no discount code 
at the moment, I'd kind of told them I wanted to check it out and see what I thought about it, but you never know. There may be a discount code in the future. This is the kind of product that would fit perfectly into that discount club that we offer. So that's where you can use code GWT. You save 5%. You buy directly from all sorts of vendors. They can answer your questions. They ship it directly to you. I don't have to stock all that inventory. It keeps the cost down for you. It's like a win-win-win. So anyway, next product. Just this little, it's actually pretty heavy. Lift that up. Pretty substantial, huh? Chris says, hmm, sometimes. All right, so we already carry, we don't carry, they're actually a discount club partner. GWT, save 5% at Muds Customs on them mirror brackets that they sell, on their grab handles, on their steps. Get that step, I'm stepping right on that step. Right there, okay? On rear tie down points, on front tie down points, all sorts of stuff, mudscustoms.com, great solutions, all right? but. One of the downsides of MUDS Bracket, this isn't, I'm not throwing mud at MUDS. <laughs> oh man. So the downside is you have to have a, a hole in your loader arm. Now, fortunately, a lot of the John Deere loaders already have that hole naturally. It's not like they designed this hole in the top of their loader arm for a mirror bracket or a grab handle. It just happened to be there and MUDS did a great job utilizing that. But a lot of loaders out there don't have a hole right there that's very convenient so i came out with a different bracket right and so we're still this is a prototype first prototype that you're looking at actually a local company here about an hour away uh, made this uh, for me and we may do some tweaks i don't know i just got this in i haven't done anything with it yet but you know like those fishing magnets that you throw out there you tie it on the end of your fishing line you put it down and there's a round circle magnet there flat disc type magnet that you find something and you pull it up and see what you found anyway i'm thinking we get a round magnet like that to put in the bottom, a disc, and put a bolt through there and secure it. And then you can just slap this right on any loader, whether you have a hole or not, and have a mounting position, all right? Now, say you have a John Deere loader, you can still just mount this right up to it, okay? You can still mount this on there and use that and maybe use this hole for something else, right? Or leave it alone or whatever. Maybe there's a future accessory we can come out with in a way to utilize that as well. But then you still have the offset up top so you can mount your mirror. Okay, we sell these mirrors, all right? So you'd mount the mirror in the same fashion right there. Be able to rotate that around however you want, yada, yada. So give me some feedback on this. Is there some modifications we should make? This is thick. Is it the same thickness? Let me put it this way. Yeah, same, uh, yeah, actually is. Yeah, same thickness, believe it or not. Um, very similar in height. Eh, hair shorter, I suppose. Maybe, what, an inch shorter? Inch and a half? So this is just, that's our tweak, right? Is uh, It's black, so it's more universal, so other brands can use it and not feel like they're clashing in colors, you know? My wife says I'm really, uh, I'm really fashionable. I like my colors to match. But um, anyway, so that's that. That's a, a prototype right now, coming soon, so that you'll be able to buy the mirrors and the mirror brackets and, and an optional, we may do the optional base or we may just like recommend it if we find a good one on Amazon where you can buy it. Um, and then again, you just get like a, like a pan head bolt of some kind and, and uh, bolt it on there. So anyway, more coming soon on that, but thought I'd share this prototype with you. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, folks. So I apologize, but I'm using you, actually, I'm using you on behalf of Marcus as a focus group, all right? Has some concepts here, some other things that he's made for his own 1025R, and he's looking for some feedback. If any of this stuff is worthwhile, again, these are kind of prototypey type stuff, right? And, and not exactly what you would probably see as the production version of it, but just looking for feedback. So I think, uh, let's start over here. I do think that this idea has merit. Um, this is a combination. You can see the mirror is separate. It will slide right over the tube. Combination grab handle, okay, slash mirror. So um, I think it's very heavy duty. Chris, are you strong enough? I, Chris might not be strong enough to pick that up. Oh, whoa, whoa, careful now. Okay, 
Yeah, it's pretty Thank stout, you. isn't it? Yeah, it's very stout. Um, that's what I mean. So anyway, stout stuff here. Oh, I put this on 90 degrees around. But it goes like this. Okay, and so what you would do, this is the part that I, mm, I don't know. So it would mount, you know, we talked about earlier, the existing hole on the loader mast right there. But then you have to drill a second hole. And I get it from a rigidity standpoint so it doesn't flop around. But you do have to drill a second hole. I don't love that part, but maybe you guys don't think it's a big deal. Anyway, I do like the fact that it gets the mirror up about a foot higher, maybe more than that compared to the, the normal loader brackets. Um, so you can see easier, like on your 1025R, what's behind you, 1023E. That is, it is kind of specific to those tractors. You gotta have something with the hole on there. You might wanna talk to him, see what else it's for. Um, anyway, so beyond that though, okay, that's where these posts get utilized for a couple of other things too. So right now he's got a right and a left side, okay? I would just make, the interchangeable if it were me. That's just thinking out loud. Uh, minimizes parts and skews and all that kind of stuff. And so then what you can do, this one would go on the right side if you're sitting on the operator station, okay? And you can then mount a toolbox. You made a little bracket so you can mount a toolbox right to it, okay? So that's cool. You can always use more storage on there, okay? So what I would do though is because the next product here is a chainsaw holder. So for me, I would make it so that you could, again, same thing on either side, this bracket over here doesn't have these extra holes. But I would make it so that you could put the same bracket on the other side, and then this is a little bracket to hold the chainsaw holder. Okay, it goes, uh, it'd go something like that, right on there. And then this, put your chainsaw down through there, and just have it kind of bolted on there. And on the back side, it's got spots to hang chains. So it kind of looked like that. This away from me towards that wall being the front of the tractor. So I don't know. I mean, that's got uh, some merit to it as well. So point being, give him some feedback. That's what he's looking for. He, I get it. You don't want to spend a lot of time, energy, effort, money, all that kind of stuff. If nobody wants a product or if it's not, you know, if it's not good enough to be out there and have people buying it, right? You got to put your your, your energy and your effort towards uh, quality products. And believe me, we've had a lot of prototypes that have never gone anywhere. And um, so anyway, that's what Marcus is doing here is send me some stuff, showing you guys what it's about. Now this one, I think this is pretty cool. I don't exactly know where this mounts. Maybe it's just a multiple mounting location type deal. Maybe on the front, you see that it's a camera, right? Um, you can mount this on the front or the back, loosen those up, rotate this camera how you want. He just screws it to that plastic, uh, piece there, and then tighten them down so the position of the camera is stationary. And then this might be a cab cam. I don't know what the brand is, but we saw a cab cam down at um, the farm show in Louisville last February. And so they've got, they're kind of like the gold standard, I think, and the uh, this kind of a space. And so they have wired version, they have wireless version as well. They have setups with multiple cameras on there and then of course a display screen as well so you can see what's going on uh, a lot of folks actually asking about those we actually used the cab cam and my jcb uh, the wheel loader and the teleskid uh, the teleskid worked for like two or three days it was pretty sweet while it worked um it wasn't a cab cam issue it was actually a dealer install issue they tied it into the same circuit as the air conditioning which then fried the air conditioning and the camera so that was that was pretty sweet. So anyway, but um, Cab Cam, I think you can get them on Amazon too. I don't know if I can find a link, I'll post that for you. But this stuff here, Marcus looking for feedback. So shoot him some feedback, leave some comments. Let him know what you think. Is this stuff worthwhile? Should he look in a different direction? Should he pursue any of these concepts here? Make some tweaks, whatever. Um, give him that. Now, most of this video has been stuff that's been prototypes. All these kinds of products here, a mirror bracket, those cup holders though, those are for sale. Maybe there'll be a discount club partner in the future, who knows? But if you need something that's actually in production <laughs> and for sale, well, we'd love to help you out. That's what we do. We sell and ship tractor attachments every day of the week. We ship them nationwide, even tractors. If you want a nice, clean, low hour tractor that you might mistake for being brand new, we can help you there as well. And you know, a lot of those manufacturers, including ourselves, start with this kind of stuff here, right? It's just a different day and age where you can get a lot of feedback from, from viewers, people that'll actually use this stuff and, uh, and a more 
mass audience type way. So uh, we all start somewhere. So some some good looks at some products here, maybe some different products coming in the future as well. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.